It was a gorgeous spring morning in the city of Kawanishi in Japan, and I'm at Hana Uchu, a plant business owned by the infamous Mr. Kunzo Nishihara. This location serves as the office, workshop, and nursery all in one. In this episode, we will be uncovering Ikebana, the Japanese art of flower arrangement dating back to the 8th century, but with some twists. Mr. Kunzo used large cherry blossoms or sakura to create memorable installations to commemorate the spring season, which holds a special place in every Japanese people's hearts. Fortunately, we're given access to see the master himself at work later on in the episode. Mr. Kunzo does not limit himself to the traditional Ikebana style, going out of the way to use tropical plants, including rare aeroid, for exuberant exhibitions. If you have missed the previous episode, we toured the nursery that houses tons of fascinating rare plants. Mr. Kunzo uses some of this stock in flower arrangement projects, giving him limitless creative options to create unique and timeless masterpieces. Kariota? Kariota? Kariota many palm, palm, no? Kazan, Kazan, the Dekiru, Arecha, Jinko, the Tukutes, Kono Tuaga, Shogu to Nyasashi. They made of clay, it looked like a little bit. This is my business. <laughs> Cherry blossom. Oh, Harita. Oh. Bloom based on the customer's order specified. Yeah. But this one can can it be alive or is this dead? After after it bloom, this is dead. Dead, yes, yes. After bloom. Mm, mm. Okay, mm. got it, got it. How many years to get this? size this big uh, from here yeah top about only two three years this okay. one young okay uh, but sometimes more 10 years 15 years okay mm. to get big mm. okay wow rhododendron mm. mm. okay mm. wow you see them in very precise mm. So it, how does he know? It takes practice and study and experience? Yeah. Mm. Experience. Mm. <laughs> we just entered a room that was freezing cold, even with our spring jackets on. You can see here that a huge diversity of cherry blossoms are bundled up, waiting for the right time to bloom. This one more cool, more cold. Wow, this room is even colder than the one before. I am in awe by the sheer determination to control the blooming time of these magnificent plants. Yellow, but not ume. Different kinds. Very nice. It says the name is O. O bai. O bai. Interesting. It's beautiful. Literally yellow plum. If you look at the country, plum made. But for the for the pine here, do you uh, cut and shape? This one was pendula plants. Uh, oh, it comes oh, down. So come down here, only this. Okay. This one stand up. Okay. Mm. And you cut this to make more branch? Yes, yes, yes. To encourage more branch. And sometimes like this, yeah. like this, like this. Oh. Mm. Interesting. For Ikebana or display. Mm. Yeah, but how do you make like this? How to make it like curl? This is who So, what are you doing? So, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main lobby of the Hilton Plaza Hotel in Osaka, where every spring they invite Mr. Kunzo to do sakura arrangements. The sakura season is important for the Japanese people. These blooms are intensely beautiful and celebrates both life and death. As the coming of spring promises new life, the blooming of the cherry blossoms bring a sense of vitality and vibrancy. 
Their short lifespan is a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and beauty. This fresh flower and life plant arrangement you see before you was done weeks ago by Mr. Kunzo. In a few days from now, this entire exhibition will be demolished and due for remodeling. We will follow Mr. Kunzo and his team to see exactly how this is done. It was D-Day at the Hilton Plaza Hotel, which is only a short walk away from where I was staying. I was told that there wasn't just one arrangement in this sprawling hotel and mall complex, but five in total. The team could only get to work when the mall closed business operations for the day, so as not to disturb commercial activity. I was also told that they only had a few hours to finish remodeling all five exhibitions. This was the ultimate race against time. I must admit that I I was not physically or mentally prepared to film this intense amount of action by a team of passionate and experienced botanical artists. The team wasted no time getting started. All the plant materials delivered were packed with great care. Unfortunately, this means that it takes a lot of effort to unbundle and untie them. This is probably a very good time to tell you that all these trees and branches are very heavy. There are lots of jagged and sharp edges along the branch and oftentimes the team have to hand saw them on the spot and in a matter of seconds. It goes without saying that finding the right straight branch is important. Trial and error was made on the spot, split second decisions have to be made assertively. Now after each arrangement, the team cleaned up the work area. Japanese people are some of the most responsible and considerate citizens of the world. Mr. Kunzu must have walked 10,000 steps that day because he often took a few steps back to observe the progress and make necessary tweaks. There was no room for error and he will accept nothing but perfection. Unlike many business owners who delegate work to the team completely, Mr. Kunzu is always in the center of the action, no matter how physically demanding the tasks were. Now we have arrived at the largest exhibition in the lobby, where we visited a few days back. The first course of action was to remove nearly all the existing plants. Dirty water was drained from the old pots, replaced by fresh and clean water. Meticulous design and planning that must have taken ages is finally taking shape. All hands are on deck at this point and time if off the essence. I felt very lucky to be surrounded by this high level of coordination amongst a creative and determined team. Whenever I was not filming, I attempted to help with the easier tasks. It was way past midnight, but everyone, including myself, felt fully charged and energized. Let me tell you a secret. Positive energy is contagious. You pass it on to someone else, then they pass it on, then it comes right back to you, empowering you even more.
Over here, you can see the pot being cleverly concealed by sheets of moss. I think most of you will agree that the ground cover looked natural, effortless, and pleasing to the eye. Mr. Kunzo plucked away the bloomed flowers as they will likely wilt in a few days, instead making room for the new buds that is about to bloom. This was a clever trick. This branch was slightly slanted down on one side towards the center. This tree was carefully and strategically chosen to lend itself elegantly to the masterpiece. It's unbelievable that all these massive efforts were expended just to create a temporary showpiece that lasts only for a few weeks. For Mr. Kunzo, perfection was non-negotiable. I want you to pay attention to how swiftly Mr. Kunzo sheaths his pruning shears back into his tool belt with ninja-like precision. I see a layer of wispy branches that seemingly dance around the main tree. Most people perform ikebana with dainty small flowers and plants that are only a few feet long, but the team here work with trees that are easily twice the height of an adult. While performing this very physical demanding work, the mind is creating endless possibilities, mapping out a finished design that's worthy even for royalty. This is the tool belt of Mr. Kunzo's assistant. It's filled with useful knickknacks. Every member of the team is encouraged to be highly efficient and helpful. These branches had to go into very tight and challenging openings. After seeing this, I believe Mr. Kunzo can thread a needle even with his eyes closed. This is a good time to remind everyone again that these bare branches you see before you will explode with blooms in two to three days time. Imagine if someone did a time lapse of that. Mr. Kunzo just lifted a pot that's at least 30 kilograms in weight. I know because I helped unload it from the van. Now, I go to the gym and I struggle to carry that pot. So I'm watching this amazing man carry it like it's nothing. His age show no physical limitation. With that being said, it's time to let you guys go. To view more of Mr. Kunzo's work, feel free to visit the website shown on the screen and also in the video description. It is also very likely that the Hilton Plaza Hotel in Osaka will have Mr. Kunzo back again next year during the Sakura season. Thank you all for watching and thank you again Mr. Kunzo and the team for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Patreon members, for supporting the channel. Should you consider joining as a member, the Patreon link is Sean from Only Plants. It can also be found in this video description. I've started producing bonus contents for members. These include plant hauls, plant shopping, and mini bite-sized adventures. The same bonus contents will also be unlocked for you if you join to become a YouTuber.
There is a monthly membership fee as small as a cup of coffee a month. Simply go to Only Plants channel page and click join. Your contributions help me grow the channel, do better content, and have a better quality of life. For that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.